Welcome to this video about the Avro Canada CF-100 Canuck, a legendary aircraft that served as a mainstay of Canadian air defense during the Cold War era. In this video, we'll explore the history, design, and contributions of this remarkable aircraft, examining its technological innovations and role in Canadian military history. The Avro Canada CF-100 Canuck was initially developed in response to a request from the RCAF for a new, all-weather interceptor aircraft, that could replace the aging piston engine aircraft that were then in service. The project was led by Avro Canada's chief designer, John Frost, and was based on a design that had been proposed by the British aircraft manufacturer, Gloucester Aircraft Company. The CF-100 made its first flight on January 19, 1950, and entered service with the RCAF in 1953. It was an impressive aircraft that boasted a top speed of 820 miles per hour, 1320 kilometers per hour, and a range of 1380 miles, 2220 kilometers. Its twin engines were powerful enough to enable it to climb to an altitude of 48,000 feet, 14,630 meters, in just over six minutes. One of the CF-100's key technological innovations was its advanced radar and avionics systems. The aircraft was equipped with the Hughes and Slash APG-33 radar, which was a powerful radar system that could detect and track enemy aircraft at long ranges. The CF-100 also had an advanced autopilot system that made it easier for pilots to fly the aircraft in all weather conditions. The CF-100 Canuck served as a mainstay of Canadian air defense for many years, with over 700 aircraft produced between 1950 and 1958. It was used extensively during the Cold War era to intercept incoming enemy aircraft and protect Canadian airspace. The aircraft was also used in various conflicts and operations, including the Korean War, where it provided air support to Canadian ground troops. Over the years, the CF-100 underwent several upgrades and modifications to keep pace with changing technology and evolving military needs. The MK-4B variant, for example, was equipped with more powerful engines and improved radar and avionics systems, while the CF-100D variant featured advanced navigation and communication equipment. Despite its impressive capabilities, the CF-100 was eventually retired from service in the 1980s, as newer and more advanced aircraft came into use. In conclusion, the Avro Canada CF-100 Canuck was a remarkable aircraft, that played a vital role in Canadian military history. Its advanced technology, twin-engine design, and powerful radar and avionics systems made it a formidable interceptor aircraft that could operate in all weather conditions. Today, the CF-100 is remembered as one of the most important aircraft in Canadian aviation history, and its legacy continues to inspire aviation enthusiasts and historians around the world. Thank you for watching this video about the Avro Canada CF-100 Canuck. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.